Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is a good morning. Yeah, a little cloudy this morning, but uh, we got our empty trailer and uh, fueled up a little bit. Now we're making our way down towards Dryden, Ontario, guys. Yeah, we'll go down there and uh, pick up a load of trailer and then uh, we are off to Jackson, Missouri. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, we have a passenger. Yeah, say hi to the wife, everybody. <laughs> yes, indeed. We're gonna be uh, going toward Jackson there, so I don't think my wife has been over there yet. So, uh, be a little bit back road driving, but uh, Hey, it's going to take us through a few different areas, the people that we both kind of know a little bit. It'll take us through the Duluth. We know Scott and Lisa over there, and uh, we'll also probably be going uh, very close to Angie and Chuck's uh, place where they live in Iowa. So, I mean, we won't go right through their town, but we'll be very close to it. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, get on down the road and uh, let's get this show started. Welcome to Ontario, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Here we go. Welcome to Ontario. Yeah, 137. Entering Ontario. 137 kilometers from home to here. Yes, indeed. Well, it looks like them dark clouds have started to disappear a little bit. But looks like we're going to have some nice sunshine after all. Uh, anyways, we got 192 kilometers more to go till uh, we get to Dryden. Yeah. Got a little bit of a welcome center over here to the right. And more just for four wheelers though not really designed for big trucks but as soon as we enter Ontario Speed basically morning. have uh, this single lane highway that's it but they have redone this part of the highway here uh, last year or was it the year before so still pretty good road not rough at all but anyways uh, Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. I don't know what RJ's problem is. We're not even going over speed there, but I guess he lost his connection a little bit with the uh, GPSs. And it went uh, way above the speed limit and then went right back to where it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh well. Here we are, guys. We are now on the. Uh... 502 up here in Ontario, yes indeed. We have already done our trailer switch up here in Ride in Ontario. That went pretty well, pretty fast, pretty easy. In and out of there. Had to slide the trailer axle a little bit, it was a little heavy on the drives, but other than that, we were good. Now we're just putting the hammer down towards the border. We already got our border crossing cleared. Yeah. Now we just gotta climb all over these hills yet before we get to the border. And we got about two hours and I would say about two hours till we get to the border. Yes indeed. And it's fairly zigzagging, hilly up here. But yeah, it's alright. We make it. We've always made it so far, right? And yeah, I thought we were going to get some rain here yet today because of all the clothes that we have. But so far, we've been good. Haven't gotten any rain whatsoever. Having a good time here with the wife. She's got. Uh, Enjoying it so far, I believe. Coming along with me. Yeah. We're gonna have us a good time, I think. 
kind of curious on what they're gonna give us from Jackson, Missouri though. Kind of hoping that they'll send us to Toronto and then from their home, I kind of hope that that's what's going to happen. We'll see, I guess, what happens. But whatever happens, happens, right? I mean, we get sent back home, that's what happens, I suppose. But got a little bit of a lake up here to the right. And it is fairly windy today, that is a fact. It sure is. But anyways, we'll continue cruising here and see what happens, right? Alrighty guys, here we are coming into Fort Francis area. Yes, indeed we are. Look at them big waves that we got up here. It's because of the wind is so strong today. Indeed it is. Very, very strong today. But that's okay, we have to continue cruising right along here. Matter of fact, speaking, we're only about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes away from the border. Yeah, and then we'll be in the United States of America. That's right. Yep. Anyways, we are uh, enjoying our time together here with the wife. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyways, uh, we'll see how hard it is to get across the border today. We'll see if they'll give us a hard time today. But I don't really think that they will, but then again, you never know, right? That's right. A lot of construction on this road here today. A lot of real bad bumps and <laughs> all that kind of stuff, but oh well. Looks like we got more construction coming up here too. But this is the time of the year that they gotta repair the highway, right? Looks like another bump up here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. It's okay though, I mean, once they're done with it, we know we're going to have a good road, right? Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Look at this, guys. We made it across the border. Yes, indeed, we did. We are now on International Falls. Yeah, that's amazing. No hard times were given today at the border. Nice and easy. Hardly any questions. Basically just where we were going and that was it. Pretty easy. Yeah, sometimes they'll ask you all kinds of other questions, but today was pretty good. I mean, they did look in our truck, but other than that, that's pretty standard for them to do that over here, so nothing to worry about. But yeah, here we are. Going southbound. We got a thousand and eleven miles to go to our delivery. So we got a few hours to go yet. Don't know exactly up to where we will make it today, but uh, generally I get very close to uh, Minneapolis. So we'll see if we will uh, make it up to there today. I know in the past I have gone up there. Uh, the last rest area before Minneapolis there's uh, usually nobody parked there or very few people anyway so we usually have lots of room there yeah we're probably going to be doing a lot of cooking in the truck so we don't really need a restaurant day eh? all we need is a park to stay at and a washroom right tonight anyways tomorrow we'll probably take a shower somewhere probably need to fill up somewhere yet again tomorrow I didn't fill her up all the way this morning when I feel just because uh, I know in summertime they like to have these loads a little heavier which they were again so I just barely was able to make her legal there on the drives and 
had lots of room on the trailer so I mean I could have slid the axle three more holes forward but I don't really I like to have the trailer axle that far forward either so oh there's a nice boat for sale yeah anyways we'll continue on cruising along here and show you what we can all right guys i thought earlier we were going to go through the loose but uh, gps is rolling me a little bit different it's getting close to the loose but it's a little bit further out yeah right over here at this company we used to pick up ceiling tiles yes indeed i don't know if we still do but i picked up a few times over there yeah, nice little place up there, although you have to wait sometimes for hours to get your load, but hey, no matter what, we eventually got them, right? But yeah, we are uh, only a few miles out, and then we'll be at uh, hitting that I-35. Yes, indeed. We'll be uh, on the big roads again on interstate, so that'll be nice. I was talking to Scotty earlier, and he was saying that they had gotten quite a bit of rain up here in the last couple of days or so. Some of the areas up here kind of got flooded, so I mean, all that rain is gone now, right? But he said they got 13 something inches of rain up here that one day well that's quite a bit of rain that's for sure what do we got up here playground looks like somebody's playing baseball eh looks like it yeah, anyways we got a little bit of a little town coming through here all kinds of little stores and stuff so Figured I'd give you guys a little update on where we are. Hey, 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 guys, we are done for today. Yes, look at that. We're here parked at a rest area already. Yeah, the sun is still up, but it is not far from going down. But hey, let's look what we're up to over here. The wife is cooking something. What are we cooking? Stew. Stew? Oh, my. Yeah, we're cooking us some good dinner, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, it is time to have us a bite to eat. So let's take a look at this, guys. Whoa, I think that's going to be really good. What do you say there, sweetheart? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think she did a good job cooking us a nice stew. So let's get to eating. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, guys, it is time to go to bed yeah i think so anyways we had us a fantastic dinner so now it's time to go hit the bed get some sleep and get up early tomorrow and get out of here right so we can go ahead and get closer to our delivery place yes indeed so let's go ahead and cut her for today i appreciate you guys tuning in today we'll catch you right here on the trucker rudy show tomorrow morning so don't go nowhere <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come